it is to not go, hi guys. It's like a, like a natural instinct to just do it. It's really frustrating. I need to think of different ways to like introduce myself. Okay, so hi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I know I've had to film twice in this spot now, but because it's a typical British summer and it is so dark and so gloomy all the time, um, my usual spot with the white background is just too dark in my front room, even with like my light in. Um, so I've had to film literally right next door to a window, but there has to be a door behind me, but don't matter. Anyway, you've got to work with what you've got and this is what I've got. So, today's video is all about cardio versus weight training. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, um, you'll know that a couple of weeks ago I put a post up, which was a picture from a couple of years ago of me and a picture of me now. Um, and the difference is that back then I was literally just doing cardio. I do an hour's cardio every single day and I would only eat 1,200 calories. And whilst I wasn't, you know, I just tripped over Huey. Sorry, puppy. Um, <laughs> whilst in the picture, there's nothing wrong with how I look. Um, I'm not overweight. Um, I'm not underweight. And, you know, some people would look at that and say that they'd be happy to look like that. That's fine. That's, you know, completely people's preferences. Um, but for me, I just wasn't healthy within myself. I wasn't toned. I didn't have any definition. I didn't have any abs then. Um, and for my personal goals, that's just not where I wanted to be. It took me quite a while to like figure that out. And you know, if you've not got any background knowledge to do with the gym or to do with exercise, like you won't understand um, that you need to weight train. Like I think a lot of girls, I know I used to be, used to be quite nervous about training weights, you know, thinking it was just the boys and not knowing what to do, not wanting to injure myself. Um, so what I did is I kind of, I'd like to say self-taught, I've never had a personal trainer. Um, I'm going through qualifications now to be a certified trainer, but I've actually taught myself online and it's such a great way to do it. Um, watch YouTube videos, you know, learn how to train, watch how other girls are training, watch videos like Tammy Hembrow. That's what I like started off doing. Um, watch how they do it, you know, uh, Chrissy, uh, I don't know if I'm saying this, it's Keller, Seller. Her Instagram's so, so good for um, showing you how to train certain exercises, how to use the weight machines. Um, her Instagram is definitely worth a follow. So on the picture, it shows what I look like now. So I now train weights four, five times a week and I will add cardio in. Because it's the summer, you know, because I'm wanting to stay lean, I will add a more cardio in than usual um, during the summer months. So like I said, four or five times a week weight train so i'll train se i'll separate it into different days so i'll do legs twice but i'll separate that up so one of the days i'll just primarily primarily wow primarily try to focus on my glutes the other days it'll be like uh, hamstrings and calves i actually went to touch my legs in as if you can see my legs and um, then another day i'll train back another day I'll train shoulders and arms. Some days I'll do a full session of just training abs, um, but what I'll usually do is add like 10 to 15 minutes onto the end of my sessions as well. I also go boxing religiously on a Tuesday once a week. Boxing is so good for stripping fat and for toning your arms and your back and your shoulders. Like anyone that doesn't do boxing, I would 100% recommend getting booked on a boxing class because like it's just, you, you're just dripping with sweat and you're using all of your muscles, you're using your core, you're getting your abs trained. Like, and honestly, I promise your fat just melts off you. Like I've never been so toned as I have since I started doing a boxing class. Um, so I'd 100% recommend that as well. So yeah, in the, the kind of like now picture, you know, um, varying my calories. If you watch my What I Eat In A Day's videos, you'll know what my calories are and what my carbs are, carb cycle. Um, so you'll know that my calories are so much more high now. Like I don't just eat 1,200 calories a day and just do an hour's worth of cardio. Like that's just not healthy for your body. Um, you'll never grow muscle like that. You'll never get toned like that. You'll just be this like skinny fat. Um, so yeah, you'll be slim, but you, you know, I had uh, a higher body fat percentage. My body fat percentage now is about 18.5. Um, so that's the lowest I've ever managed to get it. I don't really want to dip any lower than that. I kind of want to maintain that for summer. And then I'll let that creep up slightly over winter. And I want to start bulking. I want to start putting a little bit, little bit, little bit, a little bit more muscle on. Um, so I'll have to obviously increase my calories, increase my carbs again to, to be able to bulk up a little bit. 
Um, I think it's just important like that this video is for girls that you don't think that just because you're going to start lifting weights you're going to look manly. I mean so many people have said it to me before like oh how do you train legs but I don't want big legs or I really want to grow my glutes but I don't want big legs. Like it's slightly over winter and I want to start bulk I want to start putting a little bit little bit, little bit, a little bit more muscle on and um, so I'll have to obviously increase my calories increase my carbs again to to be able to bulk up a little bit. Um I think it's just important like that this video is for girls that you don't think that just because you're going to start lifting weights you're going to look manly. I mean so many people have said it to me before like oh how do you train legs but I don't want big legs or I really want to grow my glutes but I don't want big legs. Like it doesn't work like that like there's nothing wrong with having muscly legs like, and you will never ever like look at Tammy Hemba for an example you will never see a really slim like Victoria's Secret model with a bum like Tammy Hembrow, it just doesn't happen. You grow your glutes by growing your legs as well. It just, they work in correlation together. Um, so don't be afraid of growing muscles. Like don't think all of a sudden you're gonna do one weight session and look like an Olympic lifter. Like it doesn't work like that. Like if that's your goal, if you want huge muscles, like amazing, that's great. My goal, like I don't wanna have huge, huge muscles. I just really want to have toned muscles. I wanna have definition between my shoulders and my arms, definition in my legs. Like that's what about the before fifth picture I didn't like. It literally just felt like it was like that. Whereas now like there's actual definition, there's like curves in places and that's from weight training. You will not get that from doing just doing cardio, like running on a treadmill, like yeah, increase your fitness, but like that's about it. You'll lose weight as well. Like it might tone your legs a little bit, but mate, you'll probably just be burning muscle more than anything. If your goal is to burn fat and to tone up, you need to be training weights. 100%. Like any girl or any boy in fact that asks me, anyone that asks me, I say you need to have a mixture of both. You've got to have a healthy mix. You know, don't smash cardio every single day. Don't get me wrong, sometimes I do. Like people probably, people laugh at me all the time for this, but I love the Stairmaster. Like the Stairmaster is life for me. I literally put my Netflix on or I'll just watch Keeping Up The Kardashians and I'll smash it for 45 minutes to an hour and it doesn't even phase me. Um, and that's really good for like growing muscles in your legs as well, the Stairmaster. But I'll only do that like one session a week if I can't be bothered. Sometimes my motivation is so low. My motivation is so low and I just think I, I can't lift weights. Like I'll have a crap session. I'll have a rubbish session if I try and lift heavy weights now. So I'll just go on the Stairmaster and know I've still put in a good workout. That's fine. Some people love running on the treadmill. That's fine, do that, but don't just do that every day. You need a healthy mix, a healthy balance. Lift those weights, watch YouTube videos, do your research, read books, read online guides, like ask me questions, ask anyone questions, ask PTs at the gym questions, that's what they're there for. If you feel getting a PT will help you understand, then do it. Like I'd 100% recommend getting a PT if you don't know where to start in the gym because they can teach you everything you need to know. And um, whilst I've never done it myself, like. My best friend, she's a PT, so anything I need to ask her, if I'm not 100% sure, I will bounce things off her and she'll like correct me or tell me, yeah, you're doing this right. Or no, maybe try it like this, try your posture like this. Um, so I've just learned over the years, um, and that's mainly from things like YouTube as well, um, trial and error, and just a lot of research. So, moral of the video is do not be afraid of the weight section. Trust me, there are not boys in that weight section that are looking at you thinking, what are you doing? There are not. There are not girls in there thinking, what are you doing? Like, this was my biggest fear. Like, when I started my YouTube and started, like, filming and stuff and taking photos in the gym, my biggest fear was, like, oh, my God, they're thinking I'm such a weirdo. But then if I flipped and I saw someone in the gym, like, filming themselves or, like, taking a photo, like, I w it wouldn't even cross my mind to think anything bad. Like, I'd just think, all right, they're just taking a photo. Like, nice good for them, like, you go, do you know what I mean, hope you get a good shot. Like, I wouldn't ever think, what are they doing? Like, that is so embarrassing. And it took me so long to get out of my head to think, like, that's what people thought, and they don't. Like, don't get me wrong now, when I go and take pictures, like, I try and do it when no one's around, because I do get embarrassed really easy. And, um, like, now I'm filming right by a window, and I'm thinking, oh my god, what if my neighbour across the way can see me, because I live in apartments. But whatever, we'll just get over that embarrassment. And um, it's the same with weight training once you start like and once you've figured out and you feel confident like confidence is key and when once you've learned and know what you're doing you're fine 
it just becomes part of your routine like lifting weights will not make you bulky uh, training weight training is so good for f burning fat like people don't realize your heart rate gets when you're training weights your heart rate gets in that perfect fat burn zone and um, so people think just because they've not done an hour on the treadmill that they've not burned any calories during that session or they've not burned any fat which isn't true um, if anything, during like a heavy leg session, I'm sweating more than I would do if I did 45 minutes on the treadmill. Because you're pushing yourself, you're pushing yourself with those really heavy weights. You, you're like, you're pushing your body. If you haven't seen that picture on my Instagram, please go and check it. I'll pop a link in the description straight to that picture. So you can have a look at my kind of before and after. I mean, people don't really take much notice of like transformations unless it's not like a huge weight loss or a huge change. Mine's not gigantic. Like I've always been an active person. Like even when I was a kid, through school, uh, through sixth form, through, class, through uni, I've always been active. So I've never really um, got to the stage where I could put on weight. I've just been unhealthy. I've just been unfit. Whereas now it's completely different. Like I'm stronger. Fitness levels are so high. Um, I feel better in myself. I feel healthier. I feel more confident. And that was my goal. And I've like I've reached that now, and my goal now is to maintain that through summer and during the winter, grow a little bit more more muscles, grow my legs a little bit, grow my glutes a little bit, because everyone wants to grow the glutes. To help those that don't know or wouldn't really know where to start in training in the gym, how to use weights, etc. I filmed a video today. I did it this morning already, and I trained back. So I've done seven exercises that you know are easy to do, but not difficult. I'm gonna it's gonna play after this, um, and in it I'm gonna put needs to be exactly what position you need to be in, what position your feet need to be in and I'll just basically show you how to do these exercises. I'll be doing this for all my videos, there's already a leg one, I can link that up in the cards there. There's a fat burning video up as well, I can also link that up in the cards. What I'll do is I'll have a full playlist of all the exercises I do, so exactly everything that I train um, I will make a video for each one. So this video is how to train back, it's the exact exercises that I do when I train back. I'll link the playlist up here so you can go straight to all my other videos as well. There's only a couple in there at the moment, but it will be full in a couple of weeks. Hopefully the sun will come back out so I don't have to keep filming by this window. And my neighbour's thinking I'm probably talking to myself through the door here as well. And I can get back to my normal spot with a plain white background. So here's the back workout that I did today. Um, I'm going to name all of the exercises, exactly how to do them, how many reps and how many rounds as well. So I hope you enjoy.
hands then like thank you that is so why am i so weird oh, i need to stop being a freak that was so extra bloody hell okay thank you so much for watching my youtube video i really hope you enjoyed it as always please like please comment please 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 share and please subscribe and need to get those subscribers up um, i've made some big decisions today in terms of my career choices and to make sure that this business works i need to get those subscribers up i need to get those views and likes up so please 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 keep subscribing and liking and um, i'd really appreciate it love all your support thank you